Okay. Is so that the best you've got? Somebody tells me I gotta throw these back at him. Well, this must be something we haven't seen yet. Cause... Yeah. Boom! <laughs> I need to blow. And it, and it, well, the, no, it hit one of the bombs and exploded in front of me. I thank you for flying the way. Oh. Yeah, I saw. Okay, so that's an instant kill. Prepare to be defeated. Boom! All right, round one. You think I'm beat? Take again. Round up to round two is kind of easy because all you have to do is just make your way to him. Come on. Is that the best you got? Why yes, yes it is. And it seems to be working just fine, Black Strike. Back. Uh-huh. Ha ha! Take that! Okay, that's two. Oh, Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm, gonna I'm gonna wait till the next round. Alright, this is round three. It's gonna happen now. You want power? Yeah, we I'll want show power. You power. Okay, so uh -huh. let's stand in the fire. Take that! Oh. All right, that takes care of that. Cutscene. One, two. Finish this. Megazord Knack has been successful. Uh. Time for the super move. Oh. <sighs> ah. That's better. I want bigger knack. I want I want bigger and knack. Peace is restored. Time to get back to more important matters. Peace. Who's peace? You drove us from our cities and into the wilderness. Were we supposed to just stay there forever? <laughs> Typical goblin always living in the past. Let's not rehash who attacked whose city first. Now, where did the weapons come from? Gundahar made the weapons. And where can we find this Gundahar? <laughs> not saying. He's scary. But Gundahar is terror. <laughs> Ryder, any thoughts? Well, if I know goblins, and I do, he won't like being in such a small space. Let's give him some time. I think he'll tell us everything we want to know. What the? Victor! Come pay me a visit at my home, Doctor. Until then. Gee, it's almost like we broadcast that he's the villain. <laughs> How many people, uh, to the people I'll who actually didn't see this happening, see please stand on your head. You go. Get my nephew back. Victor's Palace? Not just Victor's Place, Victor's Palace. Yeah, you're Tony Stark, but on an evil streak. All right.
right, so what's gonna happen here? Welcome, Doctor. It's a pleasure to have you here. Please come this way. Victor is expecting you. Hard to believe this is what destroyed 20 of our toughest robots. Believe it, Katrina. He's quite dangerous. Victor, why did you kidnap my assistant? Doctor, don't be so melodramatic. I merely took him for a ride in my flyer. I needed your full attention, and I didn't think I'd be getting it out there in the woods. What about our mission? Uh, we were supposed to help those poor people. To find out where the goblins were coming from and prevent them from ever attacking us again. I was a volunteer. I put in my time. If you care so much, why don't you track down the rest of the goblins yourself and finish them off? Point of fact, I've been working on something much more interesting. Of course, Take you a look. Yes, it's true. A single relic weighing more than a ton. Such a thing should not be possible, of course. Yet here it is before you. Where did you find it? It? I have dozens like this. We are on the verge of the next step of human evolution. The power of these giant relics will be the engine that drives it. And we shall but call to it. Take that next step. I need Knack. Tetris Volution. What's he got to do with this? Knack is the key. Which is to say, I need your pet. And I need him to be cooperative. No getting huge and nasty. No smashing everything in sight. What is he doing? He's Looks like he's smashing everything in sight. See? Let's go! All right. Well, that was fun. So chapter Fair four, the, way, the escape. We'll right behind you. Okay, so I guess we're going on ahead. Oh, and we get oh, hit. And did I get hit? Oh, I did not notice that. Oh, I can't go up and kill them? That's not real. <laughs> Something tells me that in Victor's house there's going to be a lot of relic-based things. Do I get to go Megazord Knack on Victor? That'd be awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and, and make our way. So this is actually officially farther than I've gone. Uh, Cause I think that last cutscene was the most I've ever seen in this game. So what do we think about the recent revelation that Knack is, in fact, the key? No surprise there. Yeah. Go ahead. This is going to be Castlevania time, boys and girls. We're just gonna break everything that I think is a crystal. And you missed those two. Yeah, well, I was just trying to get out of the, the rocket launcher's way. Now I will break these. Yes. Oh, and what are you doing? Mac, right in the nose. All right. Let's keep making our way through. fault for having a palace. I mean, he brought us here, so I, I, I can't say I feel all that bad for him. He brought us here knowing that we would probably do this. Oh, 
look, it's a Jedi! Alright, we took care of that. Let's keep things going. So, really quick, what is the, uh, the next question that we have here? So, this is literally how it was pronounced, Andrea. So, take for it what you will, because it's kind of vague. Have you had any accidents? So, first of all, my commentary is very simple. This could mean a dozen things, guys. You needed to be more specific. Um, have we had any accidents? Knack! Wait up! Those are security beams. Don't look, know what they mean by that. There's a discharge weapon, too. If we break those beams, we're toast. My guess is that they meant something life-threatening. Well, up won't get us out, but we can't stay here. Let's go. Well, it's hard to say. Well, let's let's answer it from that angle first. So, have we had any like fall down the stairs or fall off the bed moments with the baby? No, we haven't. Um, we've been very careful. Yeah. Have we had any accidents of like the baby variety? Well, yes, we have had plenty actually. And by accidents, I mean, like, you know, sudden explosions in the diaper, stuff, stuff like that. I don't think that would... Babies are babies. Yeah, but I wouldn't think you would just call them accidents. Right? No. But that's how some would actually pronounce it. I'm, I'm trying to look around for secrets in here, but I'm not seeing, like, any cracked walls. Uh, what's this? Oh. I guess I can break those for relics. Everything's made of relics in Victor's Palace. Let's go! Hurry, Nack! Run, Nack, run! Run, Forrest, run! And I don't need to worry about breaking anything because they'll break it for me. All right, cool. Now we're out in the garden area. And then, I'm actually going to add this one. Have we had any accidents of the funny variety? Like, for example, uh, one of my friends actually just barely had a moment where one of her, her youngest baby boy, I think, is teething. And so she actually walked into work with her clothes inside out. Because she had been up all night with, with teething baby. Oh, really? So, have we had any accidents of the funny variety? Not really. Um, Unless you want to tell the story of... Arya uh, put me on the nose. Ah, yeah, that's, okay, so a lot of our accidents have been, um, more along the lines of, maybe Arya is at the point where a lot of her muscle movement is kind of involuntary. And so what I mean by that is, like, she is, her, her legs and her arms are moving around, but it's not entirely of her accord. So we've had a lot of moments where all of a sudden, boom, out of nowhere, she she throws a left hook. Uh, so we've had like two major moments, one of which was me and Andrea were talking while uh, taking care of getting her down for a nap. And all of a sudden I was talking and one second I am just clearly talking, the next second her hand is right in my mouth in a fist position and I have to go right in my head. Okay, don't bite down. Let her get her hand out first. Which is completely random, and I laughed at it. Uh, the second one was actually involving one of my uh, family's little dogs, a little chug. So, it's a male chug, and even though he's had puppies before, he has that innate curiosity with anything new. And so he started slowly making his way to Smith's baby Aria. Well... He got to about right at her head, all right? Right at her head, and he was sniffing. And all of a sudden, she, wham, right on his nose, uh, gave him a left hook right over her head and straight on, right dead set onto his nose. And he obviously yipped out, yip, yip, yip. And uh, he, for ever since, he has not liked her. He is afraid of her. Which just makes us laugh, because... She didn't mean for that to happen. He is totally taking it as she is now a danger. 
Well, I guess we'll find out when she, she goes over there again. Yeah, so we, we've had a couple of funny moments. But it's not like I've come up with, you know, I was I was going downstairs to get a bottle and, and brought up something completely different. No, we haven't had those moments. But, um, yeah, we've had a couple of funny moments. You know, babies are cute, and that's what happens. But, yeah, things are good. Um... We will probably get back to a more active schedule as she gets older. But right now we're we're just taking it easy. And I guess now we should probably be talking about Mac, because you know, we, we're playing this wonderful game, aren't we? Yeah. Alright. So let's keep going. Oh, what's that? Okay, I can hit that switch. Oh, there's our plane! We can get out of here! Take the fastest plane you've got, and go get them. Funny you open that gate, and yet to go through a cutscene. Is it just me, or are we getting a lot of uh, Team, Ro <laughs> Team Rocket vibe Can't from Victor? Fell for the old remote-controlled plane trick. And now, time to see what Victor's up to with those relics. We're gonna need to find a way past those security beams, though. Doctor, what about our mission? Shouldn't we head back and join up with Uncle Ryder? Lucas, that's enough already. Ryder is doing everything that can be done at this time. No, what we need to do is find a way past those beams. Any ideas? Yeah. I think I might have something. Good. Hey, Knack. You see those patrol robots? They're using clear crystals in their spotlights. Let's go and disassemble about 20 of them. What exactly will that get us? It will just be easier to show you. We'll be right back. So are we going we're going metal gear knack. Alright. Dun 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 Okay, so I don't have to worry about being spotted. Just as I thought. Clear crystal. Oh! Okay, yeah, we have to worry about that because they'll instantly kill you. Not unless if you're really good at dodging their attacks. You wanna know what I'm really good at? I'll pick them up. Throwing you stuff at them. Okay, so we need 20. So we're up to four. Let's look around. Here's another one. Anything over here? No. Okay. Oh, actually, another question kind of came to my mind. So this this one has actually been asked a few times of Andrea. So now that the baby's born, does that mean no more Andrea on Dragon Shadow or that these LPs are, are not going to happen anymore? Would you like to answer that, Andrea? No, we'll still resume them. It's just going to take a little bit of patience on making sure that the baby's taken care of before we do recording. Well, and on top of that, like, schedules might change, but... We'll, we'll keep you guys up to speed. Right now, Andrea is still very much interested. At least I feel like I could say that. Uh, Andrea is still very much interested in doing this stuff. So um, as long as she's interested, that's what matters. If, if this actually got to a point where she didn't want to be a part of it anymore, we'd have to rearrange things. But for the moment, you're totally interested, right? Yeah, I'm still interested. Yeah, so she, she's still here. She ain't going nowhere. Not unless if you don't mind hearing a baby cry in the background, but I don't think that's... Well, it's not going to sound like a baby crying. It's going to sound like something really bad on the mic. Because she's going to hit high-pitched squeals. I would wonder. So that's why we have to make sure the baby's, like, taking a nap or... Yeah. At least for the moment. When she gets older, then we can do things like babysitters and, and stuff like that. But right now, we also just want to spend some quality time with her. So we, we take whatever time we can get. Oh. We're halfway there. But a lot of people are actually concerned that you are uh, immediately going to start dropping some of the stuff in favor of being a mom. And, and here's the thing. You're a mom, but you're also very much a gamer. So... Oh, yeah. If anything, 
um, you would probably be, ga be gaming with your daughter rather than, than not gaming at all. Probably, more likely. You'd probably find more multiplayer. <laughs> which is completely fine. Heck, you might actually try and get a smartphone because of all the baby apps that are out on, on both the uh, Apple market and the uh, Android market. One of the podcasts that I followed, she just barely, or she had a baby boy a couple of years ago. And one of the things she did is she added a app of the week kind of segment where she would play like a random baby app and, and advertise it if it was good and, and give it crap if it was bad. And whether or not Andrea believes this, there's actually a lot of them. There we go. Oh, uh, they're moving faster. Just a few more, Knack. Okay, so we need six more, and then we can move forward. Yeah, we are not going to be able to get through that way. So I guess we're going to have to take care of the guards. There we go. And I'm getting bigger, so these things are getting a lot easier to take care of. Let's go this way. Just be safe. I'm that yeah, I know, re right? The react is like, uh, what the heck just hit me? That's kind of a dinky AI thing. Well, I just find that funny. I, I'm not complaining. We got it to work, so. All right. I'm going to go down this way just to be safe. Is there any down this way? Oh, well, but there was these guys. And you're bald again. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. I got a, well, I you got a were, mohawk. Yeah, you were for a second. I got a mohawk. I'm going through my angsty teenage years. Okay, so... Yeah, I think you went now in the circle. Yep. And how appropriate, because we actually did get uh, enough for a projectile. So... Use it. At least get rid of that. Ooh! Okay, so we have one more that we need to go get. Let's see if we Oh, here we go. And what is this? So we're we're in new territory. Now I can accumulate twice as much sunstone energy and unleash more powerful super moves. Okay, so I think this is just an a No, this is the first part. So there we go. Okay, really quick. I just need to check some things. Make sure we're still good. Okay, cool. All right. So we need one more. Ah, and there it is. Okay, so we get to Metal Gear this thing. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Of course that happens. Too, I'm gonna be frustrated. Okay, there's not. Neck, thanks for the save. I think that's enough. Neck, remember what you did with the icicles? Ah, that's what I was wondering. Move those crystals into your body the same way. Oh, it's ridiculous. I didn't think it was possible. The arcane energies in Nax's chest orb can only interact with, with the, the hyperdense hyper material of the relics. Yes, it's possible. 
Now, Knack, this next trick might be harder. I need you to concentrate and move whatever part of you is doing the thinking into the crystals. Just leave the relics behind. Hmm. Oh, it's Metal Knack. <laughs> I present like to you Stealth Knack. Stealth Knack. Very nice.